Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'll be talking about five very common communication mistakes that parents make with their children. Number one, not talking clearly or in understandable terms. When you communicate with your child, the goal is to deliver the message. Your child needs to be, un uh, to be able to understand what you are saying. So try to use simple and clear uh, vocabulary that the child can comprehend. And remember that even when we only use words that the child actually understands, they may still misunderstand what we say. Which brings us to mistake number two presuming knowledge and understanding. Children understand the world in different ways from adults. They have their own way of seeing things and they have a limited uh, set of knowledge that they can draw from to decode what is happening around them. So sometimes, especially when we use humor, sarcasm, we try to make a joke, um, children may be offended or may even get scared by something we say, uh, even though we say it as a joke or we, do, we say it with sarcasm, etc. Then there's mistake number three, not giving clear instructions. I talked a little bit about this in my other video about how to make uh, your children listen to you. Uh, and uh, giving clear instructions and very detailed instructions is key to, uh, to delivering the message to your child. If you want your child to understand what you're saying and to do what you're saying, you need to be clear on what you want them to do, when you want them to do it, where you want them to do it, and possibly how you want them to do it. Clear instructions and clear expectations need to be established for a clear communication. Mistake number four is not listening enough. To communicate effectively with any person, and children are persons, we need to listen. We need to acknowledge what they are saying. We need to acknowledge what they are feeling. Um, when you are talking to your child, try and really listen to what they are saying and what is the feeling behind it. Nod your head. Um, let them feel that they are acknowledged. Uh, you can nod your head. You can uh, respond with very short, oh, I see, I understand. Oh, that's very interesting. And smile and let them feel that they are heard. If a child feels they are heard, you've done 50% uh, of the work uh, because children really need parents to understand them, listen to them and love them. And part of loving them is also listening to them and acknowledging what they feel, what they need. Mistake number five is not giving children time. This means not giving children time to think or time to respond, time to answer. Sometimes we will give children very clear instructions like put away your toys in the box, but one second later we'll go back there and, and say put them in the box, I told you to put them in the box. And we, in that case we didn't give the child the opportunity, the time, to actually think about it, to think a way to put the toys away and to actually do it. So when we are talking with our child, when you are giving them instructions uh, and when we are talking with anybody really, apart from listening and acknowledging uh, and the other person's feelings and words and letting them feel heard, we also need to give them the time to respond to our questions or to respond with an action to our instructions. So give your child time to think and time to act. I hope this video will help you and your children improve your communication. And uh, if you did like this video, please click like and subscribe to see more videos uh, on similar topics. 
and you can also share this video with your friends or leave a comment. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Thank you.